two times when Jesus walked upon the face of the earth, he took bread, he broke it, and he fed thousands of people. He fed the multitude with a few loaves of bread. But also, the story says that the disciples, after they have seen the miracle, after they have been part and they've witnessed what happened, they did not understand the miracle because their hearts were hardened. So the gospel actually says that they did not understand the miracle. How is it that they did not understand? And more importantly, what exactly they did not understand? Because surely they have seen the people being fed with bread. So there's a mystery in the two stories about the feeding of the multitudes. Now, in the first story, Jesus took bread, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples, the disciples fed the multitudes, and then Jesus says, collect, gather all the fragments that remained, let us not waste a bit. And they gathered 12 baskets. Now, in the second story, Jesus did the same. He took the bread, he broke it, he gave thanks, and he gave it to the disciples. The disciples fed the multitudes, and then Jesus said, gather, gather all the fragments that remained, let us not waste a bit, and they've collected seven baskets of bread. Now, Jesus Christ is the bread that comes down from heaven to give life to the world. In the Old Testament, when they set up the tabernacle, there were 12 loaves of bread in the presence of God. The 12 loaves represent the 12 tribes of Israel that are to be in the presence of God. So in the first miracle, Jesus, the, the bread of life, takes the breads, he breaks them, and he feeds the multitudes. So Jesus takes his disciples, he breaks them, and he feeds them to the multitudes. And then they go, and after, they, after the disciples have fed, have fed the people, have fed the multitude with the word of God, Jesus says, gather all that remains, let us not waste a bit. So the, the disciples gather the people of the world, the people of the tribes of Israel, into churches, into baskets, back to Jesus. Let us not waste a bit. Let not a single person fall through the cracks. Let not a single soul fall through from your gathering. Now, in the first miracle, they've gathered 12 tribes, 12 baskets representing 12 tribes. So the 12 baskets represent the people gathered unto Jesus, unto the kingdom of God from the 12 tribes of Israel. In the second miracle, they've gathered seven baskets. So they've broke the bread, fed the multitudes, and they've gathered seven baskets back to Jesus. Now seven is the number of completion. God created the world in six days and on the seventh he rested. So the number of perfection, the number of completion, according to the scripture that says that until all the fullness of the Gentiles have come in, so the 12 tribes, sorry, the, and the seven baskets are the fullness of the Gentiles coming to Jesus. So you have 12 baskets representing the, the, the fullness of the people of Israel coming to Jesus, of the 12 tribes of Israel. And the seven baskets represent the fullness of the Gentiles coming to, to Jesus Christ. And this is why in both cases, he says, let us not waste a bit. Not a single soul from the 12 tribes to be lost. Not a single soul from the fullness of the rest of the world to be lost. 
Jesus, the bread of life, breaks the disciples, sends them to the world to feed the multitudes, and then he gathers, and then they gather the baskets of broken people back to him. And it is his desire that not a single person to fall through the cracks, not a single individual to remain behind or to be lost. This is what the mystery of the feeding of the multitudes is.